What's up, YouTube, Facebook? Y'all know me. It's the Smoking Bear. Hey, my daughter Mackenzie made the National Volleyball League, so we're going to send off right with this fundraiser. So I'm cooking ribs, chicken, sausage. It's going down. You know the girls are making a side. So you're talking about mac and cheese, baked beans, string beans, potato salad. You know how they get down. So if you're down, you want a plate, you let me know. Hit me up. Most of y'all call or text me. But if you don't have neither one of them, just follow the smoke. Just smell a little smoke. That's all you got to do. And you smell that smoky goodness. So, it's going down today. Hit me up. Let me know. It's the smoking bear. The bear is smoking. Let's see what we got. We're about, what, 250? YouTube, Facebook, the chicken is seasoned. Four whole chickens. That's enough to feed on everybody. Let's go check out our smoky perfection. A lot of rock wild in the pit bull out here. Don't attack. Please don't attack. The very smoking. Damn, it smells good out here, buddy. Cooking shot towns. 325, hiding fast. Let's see what we got. Look at it. That mesquite is smoking good. Got the top shelf, got the full back looking good right now. Not a good full back on this side yet, but we're going six slabs of baby back ribs, the thick ones. And that's how we're going to get down. No full back yet on that one, so we got some time. A little starting to come out. out. Right here, we good, we good, we good. But the color and the smoke, that's what we do it this way. So you can get that mesquite smoke in there plus all the rubs and seasoning then we're gonna wrap this and put it back out here and that chicken is going on here next so barbecue fundraiser for my daughter's Mackenzie's volleyball national team she made it congratulations short stuff moots it so let's get this chicken on here and let's get down with the get down he chilling like a mug let's do it all right, YouTube and Facebook, the ribs are ready to come off before they wrap in session. The bear got a good smoke. We got 210. So, let's get down. Sorry, killer. Don't attack. Let's see what we cooking with. If it ain't dripping, I'm tripping. That mesquite is still doing its job. See the difference in color now? That's how I know that the seasoning and the smoky flavor has been absorbed in the meat. Now it's time to take them off and get them wrapped. Let's see what we're working with. It's dripping, so I ain't tripping. That's right. See, drip test. She's sweating. Look at that. Look at her. Look at this beauty. It don't make no damn sense to be this good. Got the wobble. Look at her. I think this is the best cut right here. There she is. This is the best cut right here. I sear that membrane on the back, so that's what I'm going to do. So the ribs are off. They're going to go rest before I wrap them and put them back on. But the chicken is going to go on now. So let's do it. <coughs> Look at it. Chloe, look at it. Let's get this chicken on. All right, YouTube, the ribs are off and resting. Baltimore is playing. You know they're beating Houston. So you know how that goes down. But the ribs are off and they are resting before they get wrapped by the Sugar Bear's famous barbecue. Look at it. So everybody got their thing. I go shot town old school. So you know you can't do it without Miller Highlight. The champagne of beers. Right there. So you know that's how I get down. Look at that conversation right there, buddy. Six slabs. Um, and they're very meaty. So it's going to get down. If we get down, I'm only going to sauce half of these. The other half are going to be naked, but still fire. So 
The chicken is on. Let's grab our rusty trusty tongs. And you can't forget the beer. And let's go check it out. Mm. Give me the move there. Hope the attack dogs don't show up. Ah, damn, they coming. Watch out. But everybody got their thing they do. But I don't ever cook without Miller High Life. The champagne to be us, baby. You know it gotta be converted. Right here. And beer spray bottle. It gotta have it. Gotta have it. That's how you get down. The chicken is on. So let's take a look at it. Chicken has been on for five minutes. So, got a nice cook at 265. And that's just how I want it. Four whole chickens. I almost dropped my beer. No, that's against the law. So let's check it out. We got the yard bird, four whole chickens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, half. Because I always cook it, cut it in half. I don't cook the whole thing unless I'm cooking a beer can chicken on a big barrel. Other than that, gotta take the top rack out and it probably still couldn't fit because it'd be standing up. So, that's how we get down with the get down for this chicken. But I got some more that's going on. This is just the beginning, but I need the space for my air because everybody knows how they cook or cook. So, you know you gotta hit it. You know you gotta hit it. Gotta hit it. Keeps that moisture in there. I even spray the top down rack. Hit a seat down on it. That's your tending your season. Depending on what season you use, you may not want to do that. It may conflict with your garlic. But normally, I don't use garlic on chicken anymore. I used to. But sometimes it's overpowering. People say, is it garlic in here? And I'm like, damn, it's too late once you hear that. But you got two, four, six, eight chicken halves. And we're going to let this cook. Then I'm going to raise. I'm going to go in there and wrap these ribs in about 20 minutes. Then I'm going to move all these yard birds to the top rack. And we're going to get down like that. So if anybody want to play, hit me up. Let me know on Messenger or on YouTube. Especially you got to be in the Clayton County. Atlanta area because um, this ain't hood delivery. So, check it out. I'm gonna go wrap these ribs, put my beer spray down, and get it going. If I got any left, you know, I'll put it in a glass and drink that because I don't waste nothing. So, roll with the smoking bear. Let's get it. All right, YouTube, Facebook. I wanted to show you something. I was going to do a short clip for everybody who asked me on YouTube and Facebook. Um, do you take the membrane off? Sometimes. It depends on what I'm doing. Competition ribs? Yes. At home cook, depending on how I want to do it, it makes a difference. I'm going to show you how. The membrane on here is seared into the back of the bone. You see how brazen it is? I sear it so it cooks and burns on the back of the bone so it doesn't come off. And this gets so tight in between the bones that does not come off either. That way, you see how it burns and started splitting right there. But this is how I do my baby backs because I don't want it falling off the bone. So when I take it off, I just pull the bones out. I don't want it to happen that way. I want you to pick it up and have a nice, clean, shot down bite. And that's how it's created. But um, searing the membrane on the back, that's what that is. Get it nice and hot and sear it on there so it cooks into the back of the bone. If you do not, you will be able to bite and taste it. So there's just a small clip on this cook that I wanted to show you guys. But um, let's get back with the get back and get down with the get down. So the beer is still smoking. And the Falcons are winning 10 to nothing against the Panthers, but they're going to call this back. They say that touchdown is suspect, but I'm pretty sure it is touchdown. So, cook the membrane in the bone if that's the way you like it, because you're going to have a nice 10 to town bite. So, let's get back to what we were doing. I just wanted to show that for everybody who was asking. All right, YouTube and Facebook, look like the Falcons 13-0 and 0 against the Panthers so far. They flag on the play, they may bring it back. But I decided to take out some Georgia Select sausage. So, I'm put... What's that, eight, two, four, six, eight of them on there? And cook the bits on the side, that's good tasting. And you know I ain't going out there without the champagne or beer. Mill Holler. Let's see how this yard bird is doing. We gotta pull it up to the... They said they was gonna bring this back. Huh, look like he lobbed down. But, let's see. Get down, killer. Don't attack, don't attack. The ribs are wrapped, ready to go on. Let's see how this yard bird is doing. 
250. Nice mesquite smoke. I had to take a beer break. All right, let's move this yard bird up. Mm. And mosquito is still cooking. Look at that bird. Look at that. I use Creole seasoning this time. I won't go in no lorries or nothing like that. Let's see how it turns out. So, let's flip this bird. If it ain't, if it ain't dripping, I'm tripping. Let's see. Look at it. It's dripping, so I ain't tripping. Look at that brace back. I ain't tripping now. I ain't tripping because it's dripping, baby. That's how you want your yard for. Look at that. Gotta get some more cover on it. The middle must not be cooking as fast because it shouldn't be dripping that good. Let's see this one. I got a little drip on it. Nice breeze back. Yeah, she's doing good. She is doing good, amigo. Yep. She is doing good. So, we're going to raise these birds on the top, put these ribs on. That's what we're going to do. Let them so click down. I should be able to sit on eight of these on. Usually, I can. And the last thing you want is some dry chicken. Oh, yeah. That's the last thing you want. So, you know. Chi-Town rules is always hot and fast. Sometimes you gotta slow it down to get it just right. All right look at that. You know, things falling apart already. Look at that. Uh oh. I know everybody looking like that's the piece I want right there. Yeah. Mm. One that a little too much there. Let me put that one on the end. A little too much there, buddy. Mm hmm. I want it to fall apart. I want it just right. Because you know when it's done, when that wing comes right off. If anybody ever cooked whole chicken, they know that. And that's how you want it. Should be feeling like it. Yeah, more of them just to fall apart. Damn it. Alright, there we go. So, we got managed to get all four chickens on the top rack. Eight chicken half, shall I say. Let's get her back. Hey, look at it. Still dripping with moisture, baby. That's how you want your yard bird. Just like that. The smoking bear. Now let's get these ribs on here and get down with the get down. They already wrapped. So, let's do it. You smell it, don't you? Smell that, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. So let's get ribs out here and get a crack. All right, everything is on for the final round. The smoking bear shouldn't be playing his barbecue. Look at it. Take our tongs and go check this out. Falcons are winning 20 to nothing. Holy crap! I may, may, may win, film boy. All right, killers. So we got a chicken and ribs on there, and I'm sure you remember old school back in the day. When you ain't want to take all day to cook something, so you did it this way. Check this out. Remember this? You just stuff the damn sausages and everything in between the ribs, in between your pork chops and chicken. You was like, man, I ain't waiting all damn day. So you just stuck the damn thing off in there. <laughs> so I said, you know what? <clears throat> I had a third football game today. I want to be done with this. But we got great combination, great cook, great smoke and everything so we got the six slabs of ribs and the chicken is still outstanding still dripping but i get a chicken in another 10 15 minutes look at it look at it dripping down on the floor that's when you know you fire it takes years to perfect this not a weekend but you got your yard bird your six slabs of ribs and your sausage and that's how we getting down so next thing you're gonna see is all this coming off but for right now, while they wrestling, I'm going to sit back and drink Mill Holler with a champagne and a beer, baby. <clears throat> and that's how I get down. So, next thing you're going to see is the smoking beer taking this off. Right, YouTube, Facebook, everything is off.
and I could not pull this off without the mill highlight, the champagne, the beers. Man, right there, wait a minute, be right. Look at it. That's the best shot town sauce right now. I did not sauce the ribs. They can do that later. Six lines of the ribs. That is enough for going for 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So for 32 people. Then you have four whole chickens. Whole chicken. Look at that wing. Look at that bronze on that. All right there. I use Creole seasoning on that one, so it's outstanding. And I had some straggling sauces, so <clears throat> that can go too. <clears throat> but otherwise, you got a great shot town bike. You got a great smoke ring. And this is the end piece. So you got a good smoke ring going around outside with great tenderness. So you have your baby back slab with the membrane seared in there. So you have a good shot town clean bike. So this cook was an absolute success. So let's test it out. When I wrap the ribs, I usually put a nice um, single thin glaze on it. But this one has a great smoke ring. So let's see if it has a shot town clean bike. Got it. Yes, it does. Look at that. Shot town clean bike right there, buddy. Not falling off the bone. A shot town clean bike right there, buddy. And that's what you want right there. Outstanding cook. Great fundraiser. A lot of people put their orders in in advance, so you have an order, make sure you make that order. But this is outstanding right here. I can't, I gotta pat myself on the back for this one. But outstanding, Shot Town Clean Bike, right there, shown live, not later, right there. And your four whole braised chicken the Creole season, right there, buddy. You can just throw down the bun and have a good day. So, till next time, put your orders in. Everybody know where I am. Text, call me, whatever you want to do. If I can put it on a dry house, I will hook you up. So, it shouldn't be as famous barbecue. Look at it. Till next time, the smoking bear. Oh, yeah. Miller highlight. The champagne to be us, baby. Couldn't have done it without it. Goodness.